Hey everybody, Fishman here, and welcome to another video. Before we get started, I want to show you guys this. Uh, this is the filter I built and I'm going to be sending to Sandy. Sandy signed up for Patreon and I did the draw last uh, Friday. And this is his filter. I did a few extra things for it. I had to build a bunch of filters for the recycled rack, so I decided I would uh, finish this up a little bit. So it's got a cap on it and a few other uh, things that'll make it a lot easier for uh, you to set up, Sandy. All you need to do is hook up an airline tubing to it and, of course, put some filter media in it. So thank you very much for signing up to that and for everyone else who's done that. And uh, we'll definitely be doing another draw uh, at the end of this month. So let's get on to today's video. This video actually came about uh, quite by accident. It certainly wasn't my intent this week to do this as an upload, but it was actually really quite interesting, so I, I thought I would share it with you. This is my large uh, seven foot long, uh, two feet wide, and just under a foot depth of water uh, grow out tank. I used it, uh, well, I've used it for years and years for uh, growing out all sorts of different things. And lately I've decided to switch it over to being a large uh, mutt guppy tank. And the new rack on the other side, I've been, uh, well, the female guppies have been having tons of babies, and they've got just large enough lately that I started transferring a bunch of them over into here to give the new fry room and all that sort of stuff. And it was just a little bit too many, uh, too fast for the little box filter. It's not so much that the chemistry is bad, but it's just a little bit unbalanced. Just enough that it created the perfect environment for an algae bloom. Uh, not a big deal. It's, I mean, I've had algae blooms before, and all I usually do is uh, stick on a diatom filter like this, uh, do a few extra water changes, uh, throw in a bunch more plants, all that sort of stuff, and uh, usually in a short order, it's uh, under control. But I've been very busy, and I haven't really had time to do most of that. I stuck the diatom filter on, but I've only been changing it like once a day or so, and it really hasn't had... Uh, enough time really to do what it needs to do and also there's kind of like a perfect storm going on here this is a really large shallow aquarium so it, which means it has a really great surface area and also on top of it I put two new uh, high output 10k uh, LED strips so like I said I've created the perfect environment for algae to grow and what I've come to notice actually as the last, uh, well, pretty much the last week or so, is what I've done is created by accident an algae filter. What happens is this, uh, here I just turned the power off. I always like that part where the uh, all the uh, diatom powder sloughs off. So what happens is I charge the filter, uh, get it going, and it filters out the algae and uh, gradually plugs up and slows down that exactly what it should do but what it's doing is it's it's removing algae just like any other algae scrubber or filter that i've ever made and all you do is you just remove the algae whatever it is either chato or it doesn't matter whatever plant you have in there that's growing it is i am removing nutrient from the water so just take this off and you'll see in a second i'll just uh, put it in the sink I'll turn it upside down, I'll give it a good shake, and then I'll add some fresh water to it, give it another shake, and it's pretty much clean and re ready to reset. But I have removed algae, and because I've removed algae, it's for all intents and purposes an algae filter. And what I've done is, because, I, like I said, I haven't had time to do the rest of the things I need to do, I've come, come to a kind of an equilibrium where I am removing just enough algae to you know for the algae filter part but nowhere near enough to actually inhibit it from growing again so <laughs> what i'm doing is the algae grows back and or it continually grows and i'm not removing anywhere near enough of it to actually uh, eliminate it so it's like this this came to a balance it was kind of cool <laughs> i've actually got to the point now where i'm I'm actually kind of, I don't want to get rid of it. I want to see if I can actually continually keep this in a balance where there's going to be uh, algae growing, not enough that it's uh, making the water cloudy. Actually, sorry for this footage being a little cloudy. This is the camera instead of my phone. 
But this way I can actually use both hands and uh, hook this up and show you things without, uh, you know, just showing you bits and pieces. So I'm going to keep this going for a little while. Uh, until I actually... <laughs> One of, one of two things there's going to happen. Either the, al the diatom filter is going to remove enough algae that it is just can't compete with the plants anymore, or I'm going to get tired of cleaning this thing out. It only takes about, uh, I think it was about eight, nine minutes to do, but uh, it can get a little tedious to do that sort of thing. And I might, uh, you know, get around to the point where I just uh, want to get rid of it and clean it all out. At some point in time, I actually am going to get rid of it because uh, I want to hook up the uh, five stage airlift it's going to go on this tank and i want to hook up a trickle filter on this uh, with that you know, using that to supply the water so i kind of do need this to eventually go away it's not i suppose going to interfere with any of that but i am going to add also a lot more guppies and if there's going to be a, a periodic algal blooms in this is this going to be rather inconvenient if nothing else so we're gonna, I'm gonna see how this goes going to go. I'm gonna keep working with it a little bit. I want to see, uh, I'm, I want to see if I can actually keep the balance going. Uh, but it's just mostly just for my curiosity. Not, this is not actually a practical algae filter. It's, uh, it's just one of those weird things that shows up every now and then. That's the diatom powder. The one thing about it is I've actually managed to figure out the right amount to add as a charge because I've been doing it so often. I've got it down to the point where I'm not actually overcharging at all and uh, using it more powder than I need to. Uh, so there are kind of some benefits to this happening, I suppose. But like I said, it was just mostly just curiosity and, like, and it's just actually kind of fun to watch. Uh, and as long as the fish are happy and healthy, uh, that's all I really care about. I am going to do a, a few water tests on this, I think, uh, once, um, well, like I said, this keeps going. I want to see if it actually uh, is a benefit at all. It should be at least a little bit, but I don't know if it is going to be measurable. And if it is, I'll let you guys know. So anyway, if you like this style of video, uh, please like and or subscribe. I am going to uh, move on to other things, obviously. I wasn't really intending to do this. I have now hooked up the rest of the manifold uh, for the recycled rack and I have two tanks running currently. I went to a fish auction on uh, uh, last Monday and I picked up uh, some angelfish, uh, which uh, some I'll probably keep, most will go to clients. And I also picked up some common guppies. I wasn't really expecting to. Uh, but um, no one seemed to be bidding on it and I got it all for $2. Uh, so I'm going to try raising a few of those up just to see uh, you know what they look like. And maybe at some point I might cross breathing with something, but we'll see. So as you can see, this is very easy to set up. I, I haven't bothered using the... Uh, the uh, box with the sliding doors for doing this uh, lately because it's just faster to just do it this way. I do use it from time to time but it's just like I said this is just quite simple and you can see now the uh, diatom powder is all adhering to the membrane there and in very short order believe it or not uh, I did this uh, and I think it was about two hours later I filmed it again and it was already bright green which is kind of cool. So here it is initially, and you can see it's uh, nice and white. I haven't bothered taking this filter apart in a little while, so you can see the uh, bit of algae growing on the inside of the wall there. But anyway, this is, like I said, it works really well. And you can see it flowing nicely there in, in, a, in a, well, a couple hours. It'll slow down by about half, and you'll see the last clip here. It'll be green. And anyway, I'll, I'll keep you abreast of what's going on here. But like I said, this is just an aside, really. So thank you very much for watching, and uh, let me know what you think about it, obviously, in the comments below. I always answer my comments, and I do really appreciate them. And I'll see you in the next video, and bye for now.